Hi, I'm Martha. Wonder how the angels train for the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show? Each week, the Victoria's Secret Facebook will be live streaming the angels on location at the hottest gyms in New York with the best trainers to show you how to train like an angel. I'm here at Ballet Beautiful with Mary Helen Bowers. Hi, Martha. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, guys. I'm so excited to walk you through a Ballet Beautiful workout. We're going to be toning, sculpting, working on cardio, improving our flexibility posture, and all things Ballet Beautiful today. Yes. So, thanks for joining, and let's come down on the mat. Thanks for having me. And for you guys watching at home, don't forget to follow along and train like an angel. All right, let's Do go. It. So we'll come down. I want to start out with an opening stretch. Yes, so I need that right now. We're going to begin with ballet. You're always stretching the muscles, lengthening, trying to add that extension into your line. Yes. And it's just an important part of staying agile and flexible too. Let's square off our hips. Super simple to start. Nice hip opener. You're going to bend forward, reach towards that toe. Good. So bring your upper body down. Oh, it's so far away. Yeah. So just start out where you are. Um, you know, it could be thinking about your knee, your shin, your calf, working down ultimately to try to get to your toes. You can use a little pulse here and try to relax too. <laughs> so you're breathing. Use your breath to really stretch out and open up into this stretch. Now let's flex our foot. So you're bringing the toes back towards your chest. And this is going to increase the stretch through the back of the legs. That's great. You can use two hands. And again, even if you're not able to get all the way to your toes, just flexing your feet is going to increase the stretch through the back of your legs. So that's good. Remember to relax. Use the breath. It's going to help increase the stretch and um, just let you melt into the movement. How's that feeling? It feels intense. Yes, it's intense, but a really good opener. Let's change legs. So we're going to sit up. Other side, same thing. So we're bending one knee, squaring off the hips. And this side's more open. That's great. Yes, that's totally normal. Yeah. Everybody has one side that's yeah. a little more open than the other. So it's actually good to start with the side that's tighter. So you're going to bend forward, relaxing. And the goal here is to bring your chest down toward, toward that leg and toward your shin. So that's really good. That's the goal. Yes, exactly. So you'll get there in time, but you look great already and super open. Um, and just bending, like sometimes when I'm stretching, I'll use a little bit of a pulse where you can bounce slightly. So you go to the, the deepest part of your stretch and then you lift up and then you bounce down into the deep stretch again. That's good. Breathing through it really Breathing helps. Breathing helps. Breathing helps. Yeah. Everything when you're stretching. And with stretching too, you're opening your muscles, but you're also releasing tension. So. The breath is going to keep you calm, which is very important. Let's flex the foot now. So toes back towards your chest. Yeah, use your hand if you're able to to guide you. That's great. Ooh, I immediately feel that in my calf. Exactly. Yeah. So that's through the calf. So this is really wonderful um, for opening up the back of the legs, lengthening the calves. Good. I also just got off of a plane. So this is very needed right now, so yeah, thank perfect. you. Okay, cool. <laughs> perfect warm up. Let's sit up and do a quick little butterfly. Okay. So bring the, he the toes together, heels together. Perfect. Okay. This is very typical ballet stretch. You're going to open, and it's a great hip opener. So yeah, you're sitting up high and then trying to push down slightly. You always want to stay in your range of motion. That's great. Yeah, so you can use a little bit of um, tension through your elbows or even your hands as you bend forward. And you feel that opening through your head? Yes. Hips. Okay, perfect. I always feel emotional during hip stretches. It's a great <laughs> relief. I feel the so, relief. You know, good for the body, good for the mind. This stretch in particular reminds me of doing ballet when I was younger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's a classic and super effective too. That's great. Okay, so let's sit up on the mat and go into, I want to work a bit on our core, on strengthening through your abs. Okay. As well. So take a slight bend in the knees. That looks great. Okay. You're going to lift up through the arms. We're going to do a big sweeping motion. Okay. And you're going to reach back and look down behind you. And then let's pulse there for oh. eight counts. So you're going to pull in. Like this? Perfect. As you twist and pulse back. Good. Pulling in here. Two. Three. 
four, good. Five, six, how's that feeling? Seven, it's that's feeling. great. Even here, keep breathing too. Okay, pulling in and try to hold. Really good. I want to kind of get you to that shaky point, so that's excellent. Shaking. Yes, I see it, and it's so, so good. Okay, now lift up. Both arms up. Change sides. I can tell back this is definitely and good pulse. for your posture. And two, yes. And anytime you're strengthening your core, that's going to help with your posture. So relax the hands. Look behind you if you can. Actually follow the... Um, fingers with the eyes, and that's just going to intensify the stretch because it takes your upper body back towards the hand, which is putting all that tension here through your core. And this helps open up your thoracic area. Absolutely. I would imagine. So we're strengthening, we're opening, and just hold it here. We're going to hold for eight, two, good. Three, five, six, seven. Awesome, Martha. Good. Okay. Oof. Yeah, sit up just to finish so we even it out. Bring the knees in, quick stretch. I like to bend side to side to open up. I think it releases through the abs, but also your hips, both sides, just up and over. Perfect. How were those? Oh, I feel two inches taller already. Yes. And more, you know, with the twisting too, we're connecting through our obliques, through yeah. our center, and getting that opening through your chest. Let's work on another ab exercise. So still focusing on the core. You're going to pull back. Take your arms. In ballet, this would be called first position. Mm. So you think when you're little doing ballet, you might remember, we tell yeah. you to imagine you're holding a beach ball. Yeah. So lots of space here, and you want to stay open through your upper body as well. That looks okay. great. So we're going to lower back and lift up and a little march. Bring one knee up and then lower, changing legs up. That's great. So let's start with the eight of these. So you're gonna lift, change legs each time. Pulling in as you come up, that looks great. Three, good. Four. Ooh, this abs are on fire. Good. Six, we'll do eight, and then we're gonna add a twist. Eight, okay, so you're gonna go up and twist. twist and that. down, perfect, towards the knee. Ooh. Exactly. So Gotta twist. think about that waistline good. on the runway. Exactly, in and in. Nice and tight. Three, good. Oof. Four, great. Five, six, seven. Let's do another eight straight. Okay, so back We're still and going. lift. Eight more. This is it. After this, got to work for those wings, right? <laughs> Good. And five, and six, seven. Keep one foot up, hold it back, and just hold here. I like to do a lot of holds. Pulling in tight, good. Kind of change sides and hold. That's good, oh good, we're back to the shaky spot. Love that. Great, okay, take a stretch, well done. Uh, Very good job, those are hard. <laughs> How was it? That was amazing. And a nice little stretch. It definitely stretch. worked. Uh, my back could use a stretch. Yeah, so opening up, get, yes. like, you just wanna release that tension. When the abs start to fatigue, it's really common for your back to get tired too. Yes. So you always want to stretch out and open the chest, open the ribs yeah. in between. Feeling good? Yeah, I could definitely feel it target my core. That'd I was great. shaking. Perfect. Well done. Very I love the job. twists as well. I yes. feel like that really well, gets also, to the waistline. For you guys on the runway, you're really seeing every part of the stomach. Yes. So I like to focus not just on the lower abs or the yeah. center, but through your obliques mm -hmm. and your waist and your side. I love well. a defined oblique. Yeah, just that nice little line. Okay, yeah. one last ab exercise okay. and then we'll move on. Still on ab. One more. Never okay, enough. stretch the legs nice and long. Okay. Arms back to first position, pull in. So this is our starting position, but you're already engaging quite a bit. We're gonna lower here and lift up. So arms up and open like a swan. Like an angel. Yeah, or an angel, exactly. Swan, down. ballerina, angel. And up. Hybrid. Yes. Good. And lifting. And two, you're in the magical creature realm, for sure. <laughs> and lift. Three. Eight of these. Who doesn't want to be there? <laughs> Four. Good. How's that feeling? Feeling. Five. We're going to hold back on eight. Oof. This is six. You've got two more. Oof. Seven. See, we worked Last for those one. wings. <laughs> eight. And then hold it back. 
with the arms up. A little pulse, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, hold. Try to lower a bit more. Good, even maybe take the arms down. How's it feeling? Intense. Shaking, Ugh. yeah, good. Okay, keep breathing. Ugh. You're turning pink, that's always a sign of exertion. Okay, great, up and we'll take a stretch. Excellent job. Okay, nice stretch again. Okay. Up and over, both sides. How was that, love? That was incredible. Okay, so. That was incredibly painful. The core is warm. The core you feel connected. is fire right now. All right. The core is fire. Should we move on to butt and legs? Yes, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna use the dome today. Okay. It adds an extra layer of challenge, which when we're prepping for the runway, mm -hmm. I always wanna make it as hard as we possibly can. Of course. Okay, I'll put this one here, and I'm just gonna scoot ahead of you so you can see what I'm up to. Mm -hmm. So if you're working at home and you guys don't have a dome, you could try this, you could use the, just the mat, but you could also try a couch cushion or a pillow or something to add a little bit of lift and also instability. So let's lift up okay. onto the dome. Pick up both feet. Okay. This is also the dome is gonna challenge our core a bit more and then okay. bring your hands forward. So for all of this, you wanna pull in nice and tight through the stomach. Okay. So you're connected. Let's start with the right leg. Lift the knee off the ground. Yep, exactly. Stretch it back long. Okay. Bring it in. Think more about out with the knee and stretch it. Two sets of eight. So stretch. So I want you to extend rather than lift. That's really good. So you've got the tension here. And this is four. Good. So you're lengthening that leg. Five. And we're going to be toning this whole area. But back of the leg, six. The instability good. is definitely a challenge. Seven, here. yes. And it makes you really hot. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're burning. Good. And one more set of eight. And stretch. And two. Good. And three. And four. And five. And six. A lot harder than it looks. Seven. The Thomas. same is true of ballet, right? <laughs> yeah, stretch it out, you might remember. Sure. Okay, leg long. Tap the floor. Tap and lift. And tap and lift, that's beautiful. So as you lift, you're squeezing here and lengthening that leg. I have a hard time getting my legs straightened out. Yeah, this looks great and your legs are so long. It helps, it really changes when you're working through a truly straight knee. It changes the way the muscles are shaped. It's gonna lengthen them. Got it. So it's a huge part of ballet training. Your training is to make it look easy, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, let's do four more. I lost count, but I think we're around almost set, almost done with this set. And lift it, hold it out. Now let's tap it and bend it. So tap, when you bend the knee and um, dance, this would be called an attitude. Okay. So we're gonna lower down and lift up into attitude. Lift. And I should really and squeeze two. my lower abs in, right? Exactly. So my back should not arch. It should be more... It shouldn't be, yes, almost... Like pelvis tucked exactly. in. So squeezing the butt as you lift, that's great. And that's also going to help strengthen your core, protect your back, and keep the focus here in the back of the legs. Good. Seven, how's that feeling? Mm, feeling. Eight. One more set of eight. And up. And two. Good. Three, and four, great, yep. Five, six, pulling in with the stomach, seven, hold it up with the knee bent, really good. We're gonna do a quick set of lifts. Okay. And up a little faster, two, three, four, good. Five, six, seven, eight, squeeze here, two, three, four, good. And pulling that tummy in tight, tight, a lot to think about. A lot, all at once. Four, five, six, seven. Hold it here and breathe. Good, okay, pull back. Excellent. Ooh, that's a really good way to target those specific glute hamstring yeah. muscles. And I feel like you could do this at home. Easily. Definitely. Yeah. And like I said, if you don't have the dome, try it with a pillow or a cushion. Mm -hmm. um, anything to give you a little lift and to add that 
instability. Yes. Yeah. So here, if you want, you can do a little yes. like child's pose, a little um, I love a child's pose. stretch for the back. I live for a child's pose. Just release that tension. And then we'll take, sit up, and we'll take an easy bend side to side. Same thing, just like opening up through your sides. And finally, we need to stretch out the back of the legs. So okay. since we're using the dome, I like to add it to my stretch because yes. It deepens the stretch. Okay. Same thing, like bringing your upper body forward. That's great. And breathe. <laughs> <laughs> so you're relaxing. Good. Let's do the other side, because that one's going to be burning soon. So how did those feel? Felt great. Yeah. I feel like the exercises along with the stretching are very lengthening. Yes. So it's going to add a lot of tone and lift to your butt and legs, but um, opening you and lengthening as well. Good. OK, so catch your breath, and we'll do the other side. And for someone like myself who has scoliosis, posture yes. is very important. Totally. And I know all these exercises really help with opening up the shoulders yes. and lengthening and bringing good posture, because that's really important for your overall health. Definitely. So we'll talk about that, too. In the second half of the workout, we're going to be yeah. standing. And I want to work on your posture, on toning, but yeah. in a way that is building that strength and stability through the yeah. upper body. Cool. Other side? Next side. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> How can I forget? OK. Uh, so right. I was, wait, so, I was already on my left leg, right? I'm forgetting. You were yes. stretching your right leg back. Yeah, of course. So we're going to extend the left leg this time. And bring that right foot off the floor if you can. Yeah, just because it forces you to use your core more. It's going to make it more Force challenging. Force and more Bend challenge. And stretch, exactly. And two. Now that you know where we're going, we'll add a little speed on this side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Two. Great. So stretching long, yeah. Again, thinking about out more than up. I just want to make sure we're protecting your back. Good. So lengthen. Good. I'm glad you're worried Six. about protecting my back because yes. form is so important. Seven. Okay, stretch it long, long, long. Now tap the floor and lift it. And again, as you lift, think out with your toe, like down and out rather than up. So out. Out like that. Yes. And then back this up. way. If I'm okay. like, so imagine here someone pulling here. your toe. Yep. Good. And two. Two sets of eight here. Three. That's great. Four. Again, pulling it tight. Keep. Breathing, six, good, seven, eight, one more set of eight. Really stretch through the knee, out, and two, good. Yep, you might have to adjust a little. Three, that's great. Four, five, okay, we're nearly there. Six. I always shut my eyes when an exercise starts to really hurt. Eight, okay, tap it and bend, so attitude back. So tap and bend, and as you lift the knee, Scoop your abs. So tap and lift. That's great. Yep, so you're pulling in tight. You're really engaging through the core and um, squeezing through the butt as you come up. That looks good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Keep breathing. Seven. Good. Eight. One more set of eight. And lift. Out. Up. And three. And four. Good. Five. Six, seven, we're going to hold it up on eight, stomach in, and little lift faster. Two, three, four, great, five, six, seven, eight, and two, and pulling in, two, three, four, five, six, Woo. seven, hold, great, okay, come down and stretch. Oh, it burned you, you guys, did I it. You. Well done. <sighs> so same, you want to do a little child's pose, maybe release yes. through the back. Well done. Everything's shaking. I like that there's so many things to think about because it forces your brain to connect with your body. And yes. I think that's really important. Well, you really want to, even when we're working the abs, when you're ready um, and take your time stretching, it's okay. super important to release all that tension. Yeah. When you're ready, sit up. We'll do a little bend okay. side to side. And then we'll open up through our legs again. So. With Ballet Beautiful, we're stretching at the beginning, at the end of basically every exercise. OK. And then again, through for the legs, just to release that tension. 
Good, bending forward. That looks great. How cute are these slippers, by the way? <laughs> they look adorable on you. <laughs> You'll love, love them. them for the standing exercises, too, because they help the toes slide on the ground. So they have a function beyond just the fashion <laughs> aspect. Bend forward. Good. I'm so nostalgic for my childhood dance recitals right now. Yes. Well, this is a great way to reconnect. Yeah. You don't need dance experience. A lot of the ladies that use Ballet Beautiful haven't ever danced before. But if you have, it's a nice way to reconnect. Like yeah. Said. Okay, how are you feeling? Winded. Good. Okay, perfect. All right, let's stand. Okay. So I'm going to move these domes out of the way, and we'll even scoot, scoot over our mats. Yeah, thank you. You want these out of the way? Yeah, let's just take them to the side so we've got a little bit more room. Okay. So we were talking about posture, upper body. Let's work on that. I have these yes. very Ooh, the challenging baby, the baby weights. one pounders. They're so adorable. Okay. <laughs> so it's going to add nice tone. Um, and we're going to basically use a series of port de bras and work on our ballet arms to strengthen the upper body to add tone, but also work on our posture. Okay, perfect. Good. All this right. is good for runway as well. Exactly. You need good posture Those on the runway. Those wings weigh Those a wings. lot, right? Yeah. Okay. So, first position, arms out, that's great. So you're pulling in tight, and then you're always, with ballet, thinking opening through your chest. Right, so this is as so wide as possible. pulling the shoulder blades together. Yeah, so there's like that little bit of tension. Exactly, imagine someone's pulling right between your shoulder blades. That looks really good. Let's just lower and lift the arms to start. Oh, wait, we're in first, right. sorry. Yeah, the legs don't really matter. It's wherever you're comfortable. I think that's always most natural for me. Yeah. <laughs> the ballet thing. Good, so down and up. So we'll do a series of movements here. Good. And then close and take one arm up, up for four, and two, good, Martha, that looks great, three, yep, and four, and then change sides, and five, good, six, that's great. Testing my coordination. Seven, eight, let's switch, do another four, and change, Other good. side? And this two, side? yep, and three, and four, change again, five, good, and six, seven, Eight, now we're gonna close and open. So this is called first position. Open that chest, don't drop, that's nice. So you never wanna drop your elbows, especially as we open to second. Yeah. Open wide, that looks good. So close and open, long through the neck also. And open, and two, good. And three, great. And four, nice and long, five, six. One of the keys when we're using no weights or very light weights like this is repetition. Yeah. So it takes a few more sets, but it's a good way to build strength without bulking the muscles. Yeah, and you wear out the muscles. <laughs> it's very fatiguing. I Hold do it feel out. like women sleep on arms a lot, and, and arms are very important. Yes, it's definitely a big part of the full picture. And yeah. like we were saying, it's really connected to your posture too. Yes. Okay, so let's do a little swan arm. So add a little bend of the elbow to, how's that feeling? Feels good. Three. I'm trying to do it as elegantly. It looks great. Four. As and you're feeling good. My ballerina instructor. Five. Good. <laughs> and six. And seven. I hear things popping, cracking. Eight. Yeah, everything's <laughs> opening up. Everything's One opening, more. releasing. <laughs> Two. And three. Good. Four. <laughs> five. Six. Good. More graceful already. Seven. <laughs> Hold it out. Just hold here. Take, do a couple where you, I'm going to step ahead so you can see me better. Take the arms back. So oh, forward and back. How's that? Two. That looks great. Really good for opening the chest, but you're still building that lovely tone. Good. Four. Five. Everything's shaking. Six. Good. Seven. We love that shaky spot. And hold it here. Nice and open. Great. Okay, let's put those down. How did that Ooh. feel? Ooh. Surprisingly Burns. hard, right? Surprisingly hard, I have to say. One pound. It looks a lot easier than it is. Yes. When you do that many reps, it really also, burns out. Working on that really good form yeah. where you have really, really good yes. placement is yes. important. 
Thanks. Okay, so let's move into a few exercises. It's a little more cardiovascular, but still really good full body toning. Cool. We're gonna work from sixth position. Okay. So toes together, heels together. Everything's gonna be parallel. We're gonna bend down. I wanna get you nice and low. Okay. Because it's gonna add a lot of challenge to the booty. Okay. And the legs. I love a booty challenge. Okay, so we're coming down. Okay. Touch the ground here. Slide that leg out, and then a little bounce, and close. Let's do eight of these. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna come to this side, and in, and two. Good. And three, you're feeling that burn already, oh, yes. right? It comes fast, four. And my toes are cramping, I need a banana, there's a lot five. of things happening. <laughs> I know, I'm already like getting winded. Six, good. Seven, hold it out. Slide the toe, and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold for eight. Two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna repeat. Bring the feet together and, and out, just the first part. And two, basically we're gonna go right to where you can't go any further. Then we'll stop. And four, whoo, I'm almost there. Five, good. I'm not talking. So. And six. Woo, seven, Oof. hold, two, three, four, five, six. Oof. Okay, feet together, good. Oh, Come up, well done. Blaster. It's a lot. Oof. It's really like hips, thighs. Yes. But the whole thing. So let's stretch, catch your breath. Okay. And um, I think a shocking amount of cardio. Yeah. Given the that you really have good. no impact. Yeah. Whatsoever. So I love that aspect of this workout that you can tone your body but you can really get your heart rate up yeah in a way that's more gentle yeah too. easier on the joints exactly okay when you're ready <laughs> we have to do the other leg actually, I actually have to go <laughs> okay so okay. sixth position bend those knees come down nice and low in and out okay great and two, eight of these, three, good, four, five, six, seven, hold it here, pulse, two, let that toe slide, three, four, good, five, six, seven, hold, eight more, bounce in, Extend, great, two, and three, and four, good, five, six, whew. seven, all right, hold, oh. good, even bigger bend, lower, 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 all the way, this is the last one, oh, Scratch. <laughs> good job, you did I it. I wish I could exit it as gracefully as you are. Well, well done. You did I just kind job. of fall apart. No, it's great. It's really challenging. Whew. So take a stretch. I find the standing leg is doing a lot of the work there, so you really yeah. want to release that. That's good. Yeah, so just pulling like up and in, opening. Good. And then let's do our calves. Just stretch one leg back on the back behind you. Yes. Catch your breath. How are you feeling? Good. So let's finish with a plie. Yes. I feel like it wouldn't be a ballet beautiful workout without a good plie. Yes. You want to use the bar? Sure. Does that work? Okay, so open Can up. I have a little water? Yes. We'll wrap up. Water's good. <laughs> you want to stay hydrated. I drink a lot of water throughout the workout. Yeah. And after. Yes. Of course. Okay, so you come here. Hold. Not too tight. Yeah. You want to grip it. But just like a nice gentle hold. Daintily. Open up your feet to second position. You are so tall, you have the longest legs. I think you've got your range of motion. You could go slightly wider. Okay. That looks good. And we're gonna bend the knees. Keep your upper body really open. Take this hand onto your hip and push down. Um, so you're holding onto the bar, but pushing down with this side. So you're really thinking about lengthening through your neck. And then we're gonna bend. 
and then straighten. Yep. Just pulse. All the way or just Little pulse? Little bend. Yep. Two. Good. Three. That's good. So your knees are over your toes. And you tuck in your pelvis, yes, right? Yes. It's going to feel tucked for you. It's quite like neutral, very straight. And the hips. But are my hips looking neutral? They look good. <laughs> it looks really good. As neutral as they can. And hold it down. Keep the um, tension out of that neck. Both sides. That's great. That looks beautiful. We're just going to hold here. Good. A little lower. Two, three, four. Don't let your shoulders creep forward. Six, seven, eight. And hold. Lift up ever so slightly and pulse again and up. Two, good. Three, that's good. Staying open. Five, six. We're almost there. Good. You're getting shaky again. I love it. Holding it down. Good. Let's do eight where you go from here. Um, just stretch the knee to start. Lift the arm up. Bend it and stretch. Remember, as you bend, don't arch the back. So please, that looks good and lift through the knees each time. Stretch, good. And two, that's great. Good, so stretching here, three, good. Four, yep, open that chest. Five, six, beautiful. Seven, we're almost there. Eight, hand back on the hip. The left hand on the bar, let's do eight lifts. Up, stretch your knees, good, that's great. These okay. are good for your balance, but they also add a little tone to your calves. So lift, and two, little releve, three, four, five, very good, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Cool. Come down and we'll take a stretch. How are you feeling? I feel good. You did a great job. That was fun. So we did a little bit of everything. Yes. We stretched, we did our abs, we did butt and legs. Yes. Posture, upper body. We covered all the bases. Cardio too. I feel very ballet beautiful. You're runway ready. <laughs> Thanks. You're the best. Thanks, love. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Yes, that was amazing. Don't forget to head to vs.com to check out more tips from Mary Helen. And you can tune in next week to see Stella at St Sky Teen Yoga. So make sure you follow along. And don't forget, train like an angel. <laughs>